one. Now it's time for children's story. So our children are gonna go to collect the money. This week's for, for Pie Thunder. And don't forget to say thank you. The children's story this morning is answer prayer for Mr. Top. In Psalm 120, verse 1 say, When I was in trouble, I called to the Lord and he answered me. I'm going to talk about Mr. Top. He lived in Bangkok, Thailand, with his family. So his business wasn't doing very good. So I'm going to ask you a question. Do you know what kind of business Mr. Top had? Hmm. No? Hmm. But his neck can give you a, an idea. Oh. His business was he sell top and shirts. So that's why his business called Mr. Top. So his house was full of shirts. So every day he went to the market to sell his tops and shirts and get money to support his family. But his business started going down and down and down, and no more money. So he was really, really, really sad because he couldn't get money to support his family, you know, because he had to pay the bills, feed them, clothe them. But in that moment, the Thailand Adventist Mission built a, like an office near to the neighborhood. So, Pastor Sudaka, there was a Bible teacher who also teach English and Bible class. So he started offering that kind of classes. And they start having those meetings on Sabbath in the morning in the, one of the, in the one part of the building. One day, Mr. Sudaka started visiting every family, right, in the neighborhood, in the community. Well, he knocked Mr. Top door, right? He wanna pray with him, but guess what? Mr. Top don't want nothing with Christian because he was Buddhist. Yes, he was Buddhist. So he said to Pastor Sudaka, go away, I don't wanna hear anything because remember, Mr. Top was really sad and angry and mad because he couldn't sell his t-shirt. But one thing Mr. Pastor Subaka did, he, no matter what, he was keeping praying for Mr. Top. 
the day the pastor visited Mr. Top, Mr. Top had a dream at night with the pastor Subaka. So he, sh he see Pastor Subaka in show the church, he was pastor, with a light around a, huge, a beautiful light. But he saw him himself around darkness. So he wake up in the middle of the night, really scared. And guess what he, Mr. Top did? He went next day and talked with Pastor Suvaka and told him about that dream. So he said, well, Pastor Suvaka, guess what? I want to know about that light I saw around you and the church. And Ms. Uh, Pastor Subaka said, no problem. Are we going to pray for you? Mr. Top told him about the situation we're going through. But that was I immediately answered. Because the next day, when Mr. Top go to the, to the market to sell all the shirts and all the top, guess what happened? All, all shirts sold, like in two hours. So he had the money to support his family. So when he back in that night and said, hmm, I think that God, Pastor Suvaka told me, is real. So he back to Pastor Suvaka and said, I want to know more about Jesus. And now when I, and that's why he started going to church, he started keeping Sabbath, and a few months later, Mr. Top get baptized. His family get baptized, and they're now going to church, and he's an active member of the, his church. And all the tops and t-shirts sell every day, all day long. But one thing about this story is, when we pray for another person, God answered that prayer. Maybe, maybe it's not going to be like Mr. Top, he have immediately answered. Maybe God going to wait a little bit to answer you. But no matter what, don't forget to pray for somebody maybe need that prayer. Because God always finds a way to show us how much he loves us, how much he cares about us, when we came to him and tell him, you know what, Lord? Today, well, not in your case because you're not working yet, but anyway. But for example, like one day sometimes some family don't have money to eat. Some family sometimes get struggle to pay the bills. But always remember, if God take care of the birds, right? How we not can think God take care of me. So remember that. Pray for each other and remember God always take care of you. Now it's time to back to the seat. Be quiet.